everyone it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle so we are here at the last two cast ons of my 12 cast on challenge day 11 and day 12 now I have gone I think back and forth with what I was going to do for the last two cast ons I've changed my mind so many times you guys and then I, I mean right up to even last night I ended up, yesterday I ended up changing it and totally casting on two separate things so I'm going to show you, first of all, my day 11, you guys, will be a blanket for my niece, Brianna, who is 10 years old. And I am going to, first of all, let me show you all the colors that I am going to do in this blanket. If I can lift them up all at the same time, kind of like a Glenda from Creative Grandma, she is able to lift up all the yarn in one hand. I don't know if I can do so. I'm going to try. These are my colors. Can you see all of them? Ah, they're going to fall. <laughs> you see that? Catastrophe. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do with the blanket is I am going to make, this is a red, believe it or not. It's always coming out pink or really wrong, but this is a bright red. I'm going to make squares in all these colors. How many squares i'm not exactly sure i'm going to start off with two of each color this is a red one this is a red one i wish i could i don't know why my reds always come out whoops so much yarn on my this is the red and it is the karen uh, one pounders okay that i'm using whoops hold on and i am going to make um, I'm going to start off with like two squares of every color and then I'm going to lay them out and I'm going to find out if that's enough or not. I'll, do, I'll add another color to it or I'll make three, but I'm, I'm more preferent. I prefer to do two of each. I think it's going to work out good. I think what I'm going to do is block it in ivory or cream color, all the squares. And I'm going to combine the squares in the same cream that I'm going to block them with and give it a border so the other let me show you all the colors now um a lot of this yarn is there's three different brands here okay but they're all the same wait this one is in the blue uh i believe it's um it's actually a partial of the um karen one pounders that i've used and i had this much left over I, that's why the tag is missing but I'm going to use this blue also I think it's going to go really nicely I am going to use the Kiwi in the craft smart that's another color and I'm actually right in the middle of making a square in the red heart shocking pink well, that's just true to color right there I'm right in the middle of making another square Oops. And then you guys, I'm kind of stuck and I'm not sure if I should do uh, this or not. I'm going to kind of let you guys decide for me. What do you think? Um, I have some, I'm going to give you three options and you tell me which one you want, which one you think is will work better. I have some craft smart in the color peach. So I was thinking of doing a peach one also. Or should I do a yellow? I have some yellow up there. Or if I should do actually uh, both of them. So I'm not sure. What do you guys think that would that go together? I think this is such a pretty peach. Look at that. Very pretty peach. And that yellow there, right there where my finger is. I have, a, I have a, actually a couple sh different shades of yellow. And one of them. So I don't know if I should include that or not, or swap this up for the yellow instead. Ooh, hello. Did I lose you guys for a minute? <laughs> or do one of each anyway. You guys let me know. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these squares, lock them with the cream, and I'm going to bind them with the cream and give them a cream border also. I don't, I really want the cream to be the main color color and these are just going to be popping, popping out the different squares. And that's going to be for my niece, Brianna, who's 10 years old. I have been making blankets um, 
for everyone in my family. Ever since I've been diagnosed uh, with my cancer, I have stage 3 ovarian cancer. It's been 12 years now. I've had it uh, four times. So a lot of these, I mean, you know, everyone almost in my family got a blanket. Um, but a lot of them, you know, they haven't received a blanket in like 12 years. So they were children, now they're grown. And I want to kind of upgrade a lot of these blankets that I'm doing. Which will lead me to casting on the 12th, number 12 will be another blanket and this one is going to be for my oldest uh, nephew Logan my godson who is 18 years old I haven't made him a blanket since he was a child and I am going to be working on hold on a second let me get the yarn because I have it right over here where is it hold on I'll be right back sorry you guys but I have like yarn everywhere because they're all like one pounders this is why i love one pounders because when i'm making blankets they come in just it's really handy so these are going to be the three colors i am going to be using for my my a uh, godson it's going to be let me show you the karen one pounder in the medium gray right here it's going to be in the Karen one pounder of the uh, I believe this is um, off-white or, or no not it's off-white it's it's cream it's cream excuse me and the craft smart black okay and what I am going to be doing where's that I started it you know how I showed yesterday my front post double crochet and back post double crochet that I fell in love with well I thought to myself I want to make a blanket out of this you guys I am just that stitch yesterday just kind of blew me off course and I, I had to whatever I planned for my 11 and 12 I had to do it okay so I am making him a blanket in the front post double crochet and back post double crochet I love this. I, I am thinking of projects to make with this stitch like you guys cannot believe. I am in love. What I am going to do is I am going to make it into a striped one horizontally, but I am going to do three rows of the gray, three rows of the cream, and then I am going to top it off with three rows of the black, and then I'm going to start again the same and I didn't want the square, uh, the stripes to be very uh, wide. I wanted them to, and I think three rows is perfect, where it will be smaller stripe going across, because he is 18, and I feel that'd be more adult-like, and a little something different than from all uh, the others. So I am really, really excited, because blankets are really my first love. And I'm really known for blankets. I'm not really known for like a lot of the other stuff. I don't, you know, I just started making shawls. Uh, I didn't make shawls before. I made my very first poncho. But I have to say, I am so excited. Look at this. I love this. It's coming out. The only thing is, is that I thought that I this week I would be able to post on quite, I mean, cast on quite a, a bit of each item and I was not able to maybe because it's my first full week of work and I just did not have the time to do that um, but I am glad to finally cast on the 12 and now I can go back and start getting these projects done I did finish one though you guys remember that so which one I'm going to start um, finishing I'm not sure I know that this weekend I am not planning to do anything much. It's the weather here is um, just more like a fall or spring day, really. It's just rainy and, and cold, but there's no ice, there's no snow. Uh, it's just raining all the time and overcast. I think I'm going to make a nice pot of soup and just sit back, binge watch a lot of the channels that I need to catch up on. I'll watch some Netflix and just crochet my little heart out that I can have something done this weekend I plan on getting at least two items done this weekend and I'm just just gonna relax without any stress I have to say that I am so thankful to oh, Angela from yarn and yarns if um, if she had not thrown out this challenge I probably would have not 
uh, ever cast it on any of these projects. I know I keep saying that, but it is the absolute truth. My whole goal has always been to crochet for ministry, and that's all I ever do. And believe it or not, in between all these cast ons that I've done, I've done at least another 10 pairs of hats in between. It's just the way I am made. I want to, I, I feel like that's what I'm here for is to crochet for ministry. So anything else that I see that I want to make for myself or my family has always been pushed back into the background. And I've never really, um, you know, I would have not begun it. I would have just kept postponing it and postponing it until a birthday or something. And so I'm really having a lot of fun and it's really building a lot of my confidence because I'm trying things that I wouldn't have tried before because I would have thought that, oh, there's no way I can do that. So, like, I really want to cast on a sweater, you guys. And I want to cast on a sock. And I think it, it, I, may, I may make mistakes, but I think it will come out okay. I, I have a little bit more confidence. So I'm, I'm very, very appreciative um, to An Angela for throwing this out and kind of pushing me a little bit because sometimes we need a little push um, so we can move forward or we because we lack confidence I think we all lack a little bit of confidence so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching I cannot wait for this weekend I have to go to work it's so overcast and raining and it's just blistery like a fall day that's how it is it's been really a mild winter this year although my daughter says keep stop saying that because you're just jinxing the whole winter <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.